Alright, so uh, Physics 184, right? This is Chapter 28. I'm trying to prepare for the quiz on Monday myself. Um, so we're doing some more Mastering Physics here, right? So we're on number 4 of Chapter 28. Uh, we're asked in 301 right here, uh, what is the current of the wire to the right of the junction? So we're trying to find I right here. And we're given that this change in V is equal to uh, 16 volts. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is Juan Sosius Kirch, Kirchhoff, whatever his name is. Um, loop, not loop, loop, but whatever goes in must go out, okay? So um, we want to find the current, all right? So we know the equation, right? IR, just because um, it's mentioned a lot in lecture. So the current is, um, well, the current using this equation is just going to be um, the voltage of the battery E, change in V, divided by the resistance, okay? So... We know right here we can find the current, right? Because we have everything we need, and we have everything we need right here too. And we know that the current is goes from in the battery from negative to positive. So this one is going this way, this one's going this way. So we need to. It all must be equal. It must be equal to zero, right? Total, right? Like summation of the current must equal zero. Is that the right phrase? I don't know. Will find that. That's wrong. I'm gonna erase that. Don't, don't quote me on that. But that's what we're gonna be headed towards. Okay, so. This equation we're going to use for now. So basically, um, let's go ahead and find the volt, the current. Okay, so for the first one, right, we have um, it's just going to be sixteen divided by two, which is going to be eight amps. Okay, so that's just going to be eight amps going out, and then we're going to have a uh, fifteen divided by five, right? Fifteen divided by five, this is going to be three amps going in. So let's call this I3. So we got 8 amps going out, so minus 8 amps going out, plus 3 amps because it's going in. And then we've got a plus an additional I3. We don't know what that is, and all equals 0, right? So we move all this to the other side. So we get positive 8 amps minus 3 amps. We get I3 is equal to 5 amps. And there we go. And the answer is right here. This is just to confirm that my answer is correct. And obviously it's been correct here. So we're good, guys. We are good.